Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace, the Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, alongside Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Naimi, and a number of senior BDF officers marking the BDF's 52nd anniversary. They accepted Extended their deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King on the BDF Day, lauding the constant royal support for the BDF. His Majesty the King congratulated and appreciation to all BDF officers, non-commissioned officers and servicemen, as well as the citizens on the glorious national occasion. His Majesty valued the efforts exerted by the BDF affiliates to protect the kingdom's achievements, safeguarding the citizens' security and defending national unity with competence, patriotism and authentic determination, stressing that they are a source of pride. His Majesty the King affirmed that the BDF Day is a milestone in the kingdom's history and that it is advancing year after year thanks to the efforts of its brave personnel. His Majesty stressed that the BDF not only carries out its patriotic duties of defending the national uh, valiantly, but order the nation valiantly, but also contributes effectively to supporting the kingdom's comprehensive development march in many fields, citing the distinguished health and housing services it delivers to the citizens. His Majesty the King also highlighted the BDF's distinguished achievements at the international level, citing the national military football team's success in winning the seventh edition of the World CISM Military Games in the city of Wuhan, China. His Majesty also praised the BDF's support or positive contributions to international military shows, as well as distinguished participation in major national occasions, stressing that the BDF affiliates have always proved their competence and worth in various fields. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa for his unwavering efforts and sound leadership that have contributed to advancing the BDF as well as to the braver BDF personnel for their keenness to carry out their duties with courage and dedication paying tribute to all servicemen who have served the nation since the BDF's establishment. His Majesty the King extended his congratulations to all brave BDF servicemen who are carrying out their noble duties abroad in defense of justice and peace, in addition to delivering assistance and relief aid to brotherly countries wishing everyone further success. His Majesty was presented with a commemorative gift from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince marking the 52nd BDF Day. His Majesty and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince were presented with commemorative gifts from the BDF Commander-in-Chief marking the same occasion.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the UAE Minister of Food Security Maryam bin Saeed Al Mahiri, where she conveyed the greetings of the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Deputy President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty praised the bilateral brotherly ties and the keenness of both countries to further enhance these ties. He hailed the level of cooperation between the two countries in all fields and stressed the need to exchange expertise in the field of food security, which is considered one of the requirements to achieve sustainable development. His Majesty added that the Kingdom prioritizes the food security file and encourages the role of technology and innovation to develop the agricultural production. His Majesty praised the advancement of the UAE in all fields and its accomplishments in the field of food security on the regional and international levels. The UAE minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm reception and generous hospitality and praised the bilateral keenness and strategic partnership to make further advancements in the field of food security. Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received the UAE Minister of Food Security, Miriam bin Saeed Al Mahiri. In the presence of the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, and a number of senior officials, Her Royal Highness briefed the UAE Minister about Bahrain's keenness regarding the agricultural sector and steps taken by Bahrain to enhance food security, including the launch of the National Food Security Strategy to intensify agricultural and animal financing, develop agricultural technologies and expand investments in agricultural and food projects internally and externally, as well as attract foreign investment to the kingdom. Her Royal Highness praised the strategic cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE through the signing of a memorandum of understanding in the field of food security, which will include the exchange of expertise and research in the field in order to benefit both countries. The UAE Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness for her role and efforts to enhance the the agricultural sector and her various initiatives that aim to further preserve the sector. She affirmed that this visit will enhance the bilateral cooperation, especially in the field of food security, which is an opportunity to overcome challenges faced by the sector. Led by the Council of Representatives Speaker and Head of the Executive Committee of the Parliamentary Division, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, the Bahrain Parliamentary Division delegation will participate in the 30th Arab Parliamentary Union Emergency Conference in support of Palestinians in their cause, which will be held in Amman, Jordan on February 8th. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, visited Amna bint Waha Primary School on the occasion of his obtaining an excellent evaluation by the Education and Training Quality Authority. The Minister affirmed that these achievements follow a series of strategic plans and development projects under the framework of the National Project to Develop Education and Training and under the great support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He hailed the accomplishment of the school, which reflects its members' efforts to improve performance. The Minister participated in a celebration held by the school on this occasion and toured a number of classes. The Arab Gulf University hosted the president of the Sustainable Un Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, as a keynote speaker in the program organized by the university in the field of leadership at the university's headquarters in Selmania. Dr. Mirza gave a speech and a visual presentation during which he discussed the importance of leadership and innovation by relying on modern technologies in government and private institutions and reviewed the foundations of success for leadership and pillars that guarantee the success of institutions. He also cited successful leaders models at the local and global levels and presented the experiences of senior scientists, intellectuals and experts based on a number of documented studies throughout history. Under the patronage of the BDF, Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Commander-in-Chief delegated the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, to open a number of new departments at King Hamad University Hospital, coinciding with the celebrations of the 52nd anniversary of the BDF establishment in the presence of the Minister of Health, Faiq al-Saleh. The Minister of Defense Affairs opened the uh, Positron Magnetic Resonance Department, Intensive Care Unit, Smart Pharmacy, Children ICU, and Cancer Research Center. 
The minister hailed the efforts exerted to establish these specialized medical departments with the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives and follow up of the BDF Commander in Chief to develop the BDF medical systems and achieve the highest therapeutic and health levels. The Minister of Defense Affairs watched a short film on the establishment stages of the new departments. At the end of the visit, the CEO of King Hamad University Hospital, Major General Sheikh Dr. Salman bin Atiyatullah Al Khalifa, presented the minister with a commemorative gift on the occasion. As part of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of the 52nd anniversary of the BDF's establishment, a number of BDF units held a number of military programs and activities and honored a number of its distinguished members. Naval Captain His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa participated in the honoring ceremony. During their speeches, commanders of the BDF units congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. BDF BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Naimi, and all BDF members wishing the BDF further progress and prosperity. They also highlighted the development of various BDF weapons and units since its establishment by using the latest military technological systems, hailing the BDF members' high competence and distinguished level in various military specialities and fields. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning is following an integrated road plan that extends to the year 2021 and includes the development of all road networks in the kingdom, where the roads sector initiated a number of strategic initiatives to support this plan. The Ministry of Works has completed the implementation of eight major projects in the road sector in all governance of the kingdom, is upon the directives of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to come up with urgent urgent solutions to reduce congestion and increase the flow of traffic on the main road networks in the kingdom.